Hey, ¿qué pasa, cachorros? Continuamos. The Wolf Among Us. Estamos tras la búsqueda de el hombre torcido en las artesanías de Metal Shepard. Aquí está el, el, la limusina, la limusine, la limusine en la que venía el hombre torcido. Sí, cliente. Acaba de llegar, perfecto. Vale, vamos a buscarle. Que tenemos que darle una paliza, una palizaca. Veo que os estáis quedando un poco traumatizados con todo lo que estoy haciendo porque muchísima gente se está, digamos, rayando mucho porque estoy haciendo las cosas muy a lo bestia. Vale, pero es lo, es lo que os dije, voy a ir a lo bestia. Y vamos a ver cómo será este final, a lo bestia también. Vamos a romper las puertas, ahí está. Pero a lo bestia. Let's do it. Uf, qué tensión. Al final, el hombre torcido es el causante de todo. Madre mía. Me, me estoy acordando de la decapitación del episodio anterior y me estás doliendo y todo. Vale. Uf. The best safety device is a careful worker. Oh, shit. <coughs> Qué nervios. Ya he conseguido llegar a la transformación completa, creo. Si aún hay otra transformación, va a ser la hostia. Verás. The Big Bad Wolf. The Big Bad Wolf. ¿Dónde estás? La zorrita del espejo está por aquí. Mira. You used to be something. Hmm. Y sigo siendo. Nos han estado siguiendo. Aquí estoy con... Con White. Aquí están las tres chicas. Con el lazo. Esta debe ser la... La Ogro, ¿no? Esta es la que estaba bailando en el bar. Y esta es Faith. Aquí está... Snow con la... Con la Ogra esta. No me acuerdo el nombre. Después de la paliza con el... Del hacha... Pff, yo he ensangrentado una de las tantas veces que he estado ensangrentado otra vez con esta chica. Parece vale, que si sí nos están en estado siguiendo, ¿eh? They used to fear you. They'd hide anywhere their small shivering bodies with it. ¿Qué diablos? ¿Por qué me suena tanto esa... Esa rueda? Dios, es que es como... Como si ahora todo se desvelase ya de una vez. Y tengo unas gas tremendas. ¿Qué es esto? Balas. Balas de plata. Mierda. Hija de perra. ¿Dónde estás? Joder. It's about time you showed up. I had to take care of some things first. Little errand boy. That's nice. Ah, Pigby. I see you made it here in one piece. I do apologize, but I have some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you finish, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. No. Get no, out of my much. way now. Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure you'll persuade him. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What a man. Stealing punches while my back is turned. Didn't your mother ever teach you to fight proper? No tengo ningún problema en pegarle a las chicas, y menos a una como tú. Vamos. Espejito, espejito. Rápida es. Y me pregunto, ¿y si hubiera elegido el otro camino? Buenas. ¿Dónde estás? Uf, qué tensión. Vale. Vamos a espacio. 
pasa nada. No pasa nada. ¡Hostia! Sí, sí, tú pégame, que me transformo. Y te vas a cagar. Seguimos. Vamos, Big B. Joder, le he dado. Vale, le he bloqueado, le he bloqueado. Hostia, qué rápido. Where are you? Come out and face me. Parece que no soy el único que se transforma. Oh. Y esto es lo que se ve en el espejo, ¿eh? de los cerditos tirar espejito espejito ahí está la original vamos enfréntate al lobito lo estás deseando esta es como una puta cabra Épico. Ah. Oh. Yes. Muere. Y ahora vámonos a Dark Souls, que allí hay una lobita a la que te puedes tirar. Digo ligar. Qué pasada. Estoy en pelotas. Hostia, que estoy en pelotas. Ah. 
Esa tía no tiene que saber muy bien, la verdad. Vale, la ropa, perfecto. Uf, los ojos. ¿Qué? ¿Sigues queriendo enfrentarte a mí? Hello, Bigby. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun holds six rounds. Of... I won't miss next time. Vale, vale. Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. Snow's not here. You're dealing with me now. That may be true, but I'd advise against defying your new boss, at least for the time being. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. You need to tell me right now. We're not going anywhere until I get some answers from you. If you want answers, you're going to have to cooperate with me. Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance no to explain el gatillo, pero diste la orden. story. If you're not a killer, then what are you? I'm a businessman. Not a killer. Eres el There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will. As long as you agree to my terms. Hmm. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. I don't mean to belabor the point. But just so we're clear. If you change your mind and decide to do something stupid, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. You're often reckless. And I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth? Or do you just want to look like the hero? This is about justice. I'm the sheriff. I have to do what's right. Two people were murdered. And you know who did it. Georgie. Pero tú diste la orden de que él lo matara. He's dead, isn't he? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. Oh, I don't think so. We're not doing this your way. How unfortunate. I was hoping we could make this work. Ha! What are you gonna do now? Rip me apart like some kind of animal? Yes. Killing me here would achieve nothing. And what would Miss White think? <laughs> this is it for you. <laughs> You said enough. Esto se acaba aquí y ya. Where the hell is Big B? Oh, come on! Where is he? Are you fucking kidding me? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, any minute. And then we'll get started. I really appreciate you taking the time. I know it's short notice, but given the circumstances... What have you done? Oh, God. Bigby. Shit. He killed him. 
Holy shit. I didn't think you had it in you, Big B. Stop it! You ripped him apart! I told you to bring him back alive! You really fucked him up. What did you do? He's... It's over. Crooked man is dead. No shit. I thought I wanted him gone. But this? It's terrible. No, it's not. What the hell happened? Tell me. Tell me why you did this. I think it's pretty clear. He nearly ripped his head off. Please, explain yourself. Look at him. Oh, God. Would it have been that hard to restrain him? Did you really have to murder the man? Hang on. It's not murder. Then what would you call it? Justice, maybe? This is not justice! You know it's not. Why not? This is Bigby Wolf doing whatever the hell he wants. Which, in this case... You can't do things like this anymore! Well, I think he did the right thing. If this guy killed Faith... And my sister! How can we be sure of that? Without a trial, what evidence do we have? We never had anything concrete. That's why we needed him here. The crooked man ordered their deaths. He's behind it. He ordered it? Well, then who the fuck did it? Georgie did. Georgie? Where's Georgie now? If we bring him in for questioning, we... What? Where is he? Big B? Is hmm. he still out there? I sincerely hope not. I killed him. He's dead. What? I don't even know what to say to you right now. Maybe that's not such a bad thing. You're on board with this? I don't know. I mean, it's not like the crooked man didn't deserve it. And if Georgie killed them... You think anyone deserves this? Your job is to keep Fabletown safe. The minute you start abusing your position by attacking people, we betray the trust of this community. And killing those people out there. On your own, without my... Without due process. It makes us look like, like... killers? How could you do this? It's just one thing after another. Look, I'm glad he's fucking dead. But like this? What does it really matter? He could do this to any of us. I want an answer. You can't seriously expect me. Expect all of us to just let this go. I can't believe this. I made myself very clear. This is not okay. Snow's right. This is disgusting. Oh, it's much worse than that. What? Are you guys buddy-buddy with the crooked man all of a sudden? What the fuck is wrong with you? Grand. Everyone, that's enough. Quiero este deporte mía, es raro. Big B, I can't protect you without the support of this community. The minute you kill another suspect, or rip out someone's throat in a back alley, I won't be able to stop them from calling for your resignation. And yours. If that happens, I can't defend you. Okay, Snow. I get it. Do you? Listen. Maybe you were right this time about the crooked man, but what happens when you're wrong? The second you make a mistake about someone, I won't watch you become a murderer. I think it's too late for that. I know what I'm doing. Having some personnel issues, Miss White? Can't control your mutt? Bluebeard, this is hardly the time. It looks like as long as the wolf thinks you're guilty, he has free reign to murder you in your sleep. <laughs> no, that's is not this how- Is what we can expect from now on? Yeah, you make one mistake and Bigby's gonna rip your head off? Hey, that's not fair. Maybe a few limbs, too? That's not going to happen. Or just beat us to death. Are we even protected anymore? If we're throwing out the... Don't be ridiculous, beast. I'm not about to... You think I'm being ridiculous? We all know what you're capable of. You nearly gouged my eyes out. Beast. Please, the sheriff isn't going you to... see? The wolf does whatever the hell he wants, and the princess is no better. Now, hang on a minute. You don't believe me? They came to my apartment, and then for no earthly reason, she wanted my tree destroyed. What? Why would you do that? She was helping people glamour themselves as other fables. We couldn't let that continue. I can't say I'm fucking surprised. I am. Snow, how could you do that? You tried to ruin my life for no reason None of this matters. 
We're not here to talk about your damn tree. It doesn't matter. Bigby just means It that... matters to me. You know why I asked him to destroy your tree. You were working with Crane and the Crooked Man So to... that makes me a villain? You can pretend it's about law and order, but it's time you stopped lying to yourself. You wanted to get back at me for what Crane did. But that doesn't justify it. You both just act out of your own selfish desires. It doesn't matter what's right. At this point, I'd rather have Crane. You don't mean that. At least Crane didn't come around just to beat people up. Or destroy what's ours. He also earned the position. What the hell is wrong with you? You fucked up your own lives, dealing with criminals, making your own bad fucking choices. And now you want to blame us for your screwed up situation. I've been trying to fix the mess you made. How dare you! Is this how it's gonna be? You're gonna blame us! Bigby's right. You people don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Do you seriously think you want Crane back? He was an asshole, and he didn't do shit for any of you. Snow and Bigby found my sister, when Crane wouldn't even look. Yeah, but they only came around when they thought it was Snow White who ate it. No, they cared about Lily. They care about all of us. Even if they've got a funny way of showing it sometimes. Eso es lo que quería. Thank you, Holly. Eso es oh, lo que come quería. on, Holly. Maybe Snow gives a fuck, but Bigby? I mean, this, I get. But I didn't do shit wrong, and I got my fucking arm ripped off. Eso that was putada. different, Gren. Same here! He just hit me for no fucking reason! Everyone, please, just calm down! We have a right to be heard! Are you afraid of what we have to say? This isn't helping! I'm not finished! Like we give a Need shit! some help, Miss White? Just a minute! This can't continue! Listen! I still have something to say! Listen, friends! But I was- Please! It isn't Bigby's fault. He can't control his nature. And frankly, I wouldn't dare ask him to try. Just as a scorpion stings, the wolf must bite. But with a sheriff so... impulsive... Shouldn't the new deputy mayor have at least some command over her office? Blue beard? Are either of them fit to run this town? Can I say something? Excuse me? Wow. Nerissa. Who the hell is she? My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, please step aside. Shut the fuck up, Bluebeard. But I said shut up! I haven't been able to speak my mind for a long time. We were prisoners at that club. We had nowhere to go. No one cared enough. Certainly not Crane. You're acting like they haven't done anything good in the last few days, but you know that's not true. Because of the Sheriff and Snow, I can finally talk about what happened to me. To all of us. We're free now. And I think that should count for something. Thank you, Nerissa. She's right. We haven't been there for you in the past. And I'll be the first to admit we've made plenty of mistakes. But I truly want what's best for this town. And we're trying to make things right. And that may not always be clear right away. But I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And I'm sure Bigby does too. It's going to take some time to clean up Crane's mess, but he's gone now. The Crooked Man is dead, the killer has been found, and you can all rest easy knowing we're here to look out for you. I'll make sure of it. While that's all very touching, is it enough? I'm still not convinced Miss White has what it takes to control the Sheriff, or run this town. I am. We haven't really given them a chance. Crane just left. Let's see what Snow and Bigby can do on their own. I trust Snow to do right by us. Bigby too. I think they've had enough chances. Things are finally changing around here. Maybe you don't feel it, but I do. Bigby and Snow are good for Fable Town. She's right. Now that things have settled down, I'm sure they can do better. And we will. Right, Sheriff? We'll do what's right. As best we can. We'll see. Do 
you see that? It's finally over. Good riddance, at least. This won't end well. Shit. It's over now. Y esto de suponer que es el final malo. O el final negativo. Aunque no sé si respondiendo mal podían haberme juzgado peor. Porque más o menos creo que ha quedado la cosa bastante bien y los enemigos han quedado... Bueno, eliminados. Hey, Sheriff. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. This fucking line. Que <laughs> peña. <laughs> oh, uh, Mr. Wolf. Flycatcher left his keys. Listen, Snow, uh, can we talk? I, I wanted to... I'm, I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? De que quiere hablar, Bigby. ¿Está arrepentido? Good morning, Miss White. You're late. Dios, qué frío es todo ahora. Big Vista como hecho polvo moralmente. Se van. Oh, Gowan, Jesus. We only have like five minutes. And carry me for fuck's sake. I don't give a shit. We forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Nice fucking day. Oh, shit. Just go grab that, would you? It's just a farm. You don't have to be so dramatic about it. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance. But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. I told her I had the money, but she didn't want to hear it. Come on, Colin. <laughs> I'm walking, all right? Calm down. Wait, Sheriff Bigby. I have something. <laughs> You know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Hmm. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so... If you could bring it to her, she was nice. What is it? I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the hmm. best. <laughs> it's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. That's everybody. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> don't worry. You'll be a lot safer there. There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah. You don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on. It won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No. I'm, uh, 
Some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves, so <laughs> you wouldn't know, would you? We're all set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. El que no tenía pulgares. <laughs> Are you still mad at me? Would it change your mind? You got another one of those? How about a smoke for the road? One last Venga. time? Tomanda. Thanks, Bigby. Nice to see you finally learned to share. <laughs> I guess I'll see you around. Mm-hmm. Stay out of trouble, okay? If you even can. I can't make any promises. Yeah, me neither. Saying goodbye? Hi. Hi. You're still wearing that thing. Oh, yeah, I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to... Let me help. Bigby, I... I know you're trying to help. <laughs> This is just something I need to do on my own, okay? Listen, I... I came here because I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith, Lily and I, we had this plan. We we're gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? Marissa, what did you do? I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. So you sold them out? No. Yes. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. Ya ves como las calmó. But then... Se los oh, ha cargado. <laughs> What happened? Can you tell me anything else? I don't know what happened. But that night, at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... It was my fault. I sold them out. And she just... And Lily? <sighs> That night, after Faith, I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. You? I walked her over here, and I left her. So, that piece of fabric I found near there, that was you? Yeah. I cut my leg trying to get over the fence. So you... you started all this? I just... pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just... fade. Like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith. Or Lily. Nobody cares about us. Not really. It's going to be different now. I promise. 
Things like that won't happen anymore. Not while I'm around. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. Seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her. Or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other. And look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. I just... I go out there, and I do my job. I put my life on the line. I get shot at. I do what has to be done for them. But at the end of the day, I'm still the bad guy. I know. But they'll come around. You'll see. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You protected your friends, no matter the cost. And you brought justice to this town. Finally. If you hadn't killed the crooked man back there, he would have just talked his way out of it like he always does. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. No. It doesn't matter what I do. In the end, it's all the same shit it always was. You're wrong. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. Hmm. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. I'll see you around, Wolf. Esa rayada que se ha metido Big B al final ha sido interesante. Eh, oh, este vale, aquí están los marcadores, ¿no? Lo que le hiciste a Georgie. Uh, player Skillet Georgie. Luego, lo que, esto es, esto es lo que ha hecho la gente, ¿no? Entonces, lo hemos matado a Georgie el 68%, nos lo hemos cargado, eh, darle un juicio al este, eh, solamente un 10% de las personas lo hemos matado, o sea, he sido de los pocos que ha grabado este final, supongo. Um, did you walk out of the witching well? Uh, players stayed until the end. Hmm. ¿Aceptaste el regalo? Creo que todo el mundo lo ha aceptado. O sea, ¿quién no hace, va a aceptar el regalito, tío? Eh, los últimos palabras con nariz. Eh. Vale, parece que poca gente también le ha dicho eso. Y bueno, parece que, bueno, al menos he intentado eh, conseguir un final diferente y extraño. Eh, por lo menos en este caso, de darle al, un, un juicio justo al hombre torcido. Y de, bueno, alguna que otra respuesta y seguramente alguna que otra cosilla. La habré hecho muy diferente ya que he jugado de una manera muy agresiva y normalmente la gente suele ser más buena. Pero quería ver el final malo, quería ver qué ocurría. Me gusta que me den las opciones y que poder elegir qué es lo que quiero hacer, ¿no? Está bastante bien. ¿Esto qué es? Esto es para... Vale, para unirme a la comunidad y tal. Creo que podía mirar... Ah, mira esto. Uh... Vale, o sea, todo lo que he hecho, todos los cambios que he hecho, lo que le he dicho a Bestia, lo que le he dicho a este tío. 
Acá en la granja. Eh, los que he matado. A los que me he cargado. Eh, fuiste primero a su apartamento. Y impediste que muriera. Hmm, pude dejar que este muriera. Interesante. Intentaste quitarle el lazo. Intentaste quitarle el lazo. <risa> Intentaste quitarle el lazo a esta tía siempre. ¿eh? Todo el rato. Madre mía. Ah, vale. Las cosas que he hecho por ella. Lo dejé atrás. <risa> al pobre cojo. Hostia, el pobre todo. Le di el dinero. O sea, es que a algunos les he tratado bien. A otros los he tratado mal. Ha sido... Intentaste quitarle el lazo. Ah, bueno, esto dulce la que ha morido así. Bueno. Estadísticas especiales. Wow. What the fuck? Ok, y los créditos finales. Pues nada, gente, espero que os haya gustado este final de la historia. Ha sido bastante uh, triste y bastante rudo. No he podido contentar a todo el mundo. Supongo que si haces el final bueno y juzgas al tío, pues habrá que tomar otras decisiones. La verdad es que me gustaría mirarlo. Quizá mañana suba otro vídeo. ¡Hostia, 40 minutazos de vídeo! ¡Madre mía! Bueno, es que ha sido muy emocionante esto. Eh, quizá mañana suba otro vídeo intentando conseguir el, un juicio con él, ¿vale? Eh, intentaré... Es decir, seguiré con la misma actitud de la que llevo, pero en lugar de matarle, pues le llevaré conmigo a, a juicio y veremos a ver cómo transcurren las cosas en ese juicio, ya que él estará vivo y podrá contar que sí fue el asesino y no seré yo tan cabrón como los del pueblo me pintan. Pero aún así, eh, seguiré tomando las decisiones que estoy tomando hasta ahora, solo que lo llevaré a juicio, al hombre torcido. Así que mañana será seguramente el último episodio, porque no creo que vuelva a jugar el juego entero para verme la, la versión buena, quizás sí, pero no creo que lo grabe. Eh, simplemente lo veré yo por mi cuenta y bueno, si quizá hasta grabe el otro final, ¿no? El final, digamos, el, el, el final más bueno que pueda llegar a conseguir, digamos, siendo muy bueno y muy tranquilo y tal, intentaré también grabarlo para que podáis ver los, digamos, tres tipos de finales, ¿no? Un final en el que todo acaba con muerte y con tragedia, que sería este. Un final en el que se enjuicia al hombre torcido y... Uh, intentamos pues castigarle por todo lo que ha hecho pero no sé, ya veré cómo lo castigo porque igual lo acabo matando o no no sé no sé qué opciones tendré eso lo veremos mañana y luego otro final en el que sea bueno y no sé, intente conseguir lo mejor para todos pero supongo que eso es imposible me pregunto ¿hay algún final en el que consiga dejar libre al hombre torcido? ¿en el que pueda dejar que se vaya con la suya? ¿en el que nos convenza a todos de que él no es malo y de que... no lo sé bueno, continúa la historia. Ah, leyendo los, los cómics, ¿no? Al parecer. Las fábulas. Coge una novela gráfica. Pues nada, gente, lo dejamos por aquí. Nos vemos en el siguiente vídeo. Alfa, corto y cierro.